Heading into the woods and need a sleeping bag that's light on weight but heavy on comfort? The Sign 20 and 35 are Kelty's lightest sleeping bags, but they'll still keep you toasty and comfortable under the stars. The Arc Zipper System opens with the easy sweep of your hand from inside or outside of the bag and feels less restrictive as you tuck in for the night. The upper and lower access zippers allow you to tweak just how much heat you want to lock in and the anti-snag design on the draft tube keeps your zipper from getting stuck. On warm nights, you can leave the zipper undone and use the sign as a cozy blanket while tucking your feet into the natural fit foot box. You can stuff a jacket into this built-in pocket for an instant pillow. And when the mercury starts to drop, the thermal comfort hood and draft collar on the 20 degree bag will seal out the cold. At under 3 pounds, this bag is Kelty built with a 20 denier nylon shell and liner. It's stuffed full of a 800 fill power dry down insulation, a water resistant down that will stay drier, loft better, and dry faster. The sign bag comes with a compression sack so it will take up minimal space in your backpack. And when you get home, you can stash it fully lofted in this included mesh storage bag. Available in both 20 and 35 degree options in regular and long lengths, there's sure to be a sign that will keep you warm and comfortable on your next backpacking trip. Nothing eliminates boundaries like our modular flotation tails, unique to MSR snowshoes. These tails add flotation on demand in deep snow or when carrying heavier packs. With them, you can start with a smaller, more agile snowshoe for most adventures. When conditions change, attach the tails easily for greater surface area. Light enough to carry on extended trips, they allow one pair of snowshoes to get you through it all. Modular flotation tails are available for all Lightning, Revo, and Evo snowshoes. Coming at the snowshoe from behind, angle the tail arms up. Align the snowshoe frame between the posts on the arms and slide forward, engaging the upper posts in the frame notches. Standing or pressing on the snowshoe, grab the pull loop and stretch up over the frame, ensuring all four posts are nested into position. Coming at the snowshoe from behind, angle the tail arms up. Align the snowshoe frame between the arms with the posts below the deck. Slide forward, engaging the upper hooks in the frame notches. Standing or pressing on the snowshoe, grab the pull tab and pull up and over the frame until it catches securely behind the knob in the deck. Ensure the pull tabs are flush and secure against deck. Hook the two tail keyhole slots over the spools on snowshoe. Slide the tail forward firmly until the spools engage and the bolt goes into the notch in the snowshoe. Tighten the knob until it is seated firmly. Do not over tighten it. Hey, thanks for dropping by. My name is Ryan with Eureka Tents. Pumped to have you here. Can't wait to show you our new all season convertible tent, the Mountain Pass. This thing is so cool. It's designed for all season use. Keep the panels in, you've got a nice winter tent. Take the panels out, you've got your spring, summer, and fall tent. So let's get this out of the bag and I'll show you how to set it up and point out all the features. First, in your bag, very important, the instructions are sewn in. They're really easy to read, they're really easy to follow. Next, let's unroll this thing and see what we got. Okay. We've got your gear loft, we've got your tent stakes, we've got tent poles, we have your tent fly, the tent body and weight. Included in this model is the footprint. First, spread out the footprint with the webbing facing up. Then, place the tent body on top. Now, when lining up the footprint and the tent body, note the colored webbing loops on each corner and match the loops on the body to the loops on the footprint by color. Then, assemble your shock cord poles. Once fully connected, insert them into the speed hub. Now, take your poles and place them on the tent with the shorter ridge poles over the door opening and the speed hub facing down. Insert the main pole tips into each four corner grommet. Then, using the clip located at the center of the tent body, connect the tent peak to the underside of the hub. Take your smaller poles and insert the tip into the webbing loops located above each door on either side of your tent. Around the body of the tent, you'll see a series of clips along the fabric. Take each one and attach it to the nearest tent pole, 
like this, and you'll continue to connect these around the entire body. For this next step, we'll be using carpet stakes indoors, but for outdoor setup, this is where your durable aluminum stakes come in handy. So grab your stakes and stake out the four corners of the tent. Remember to do the two midpoints of the tent as well. There's one under each door. Now to weatherproof and insulate your shelter with the fly. Place the fly over the body, matching the corresponding colors of the fly to the body for correct orientation. Connect the matching buckles from the fly to the tent body at the four corners and adjust the tension if needed. Stake out the vestibules, open up the venting, and that's it. Now you're ready for your next all season adventure. The best thing about our tents is not only do they go up fast, they pack up fast too. All the pieces are easy to collapse and fold back into your tent stuff sack. Thanks for watching. Now take your awesome new gear and get out there. Hi, I'm Andrew Melkovitz from Eastern Mountain Sports. I'm here to talk to you today about the EMS Men's and Women's Siesta Sleeping Pads. These are a pretty basic sleeping pad. They're self-inflating, meaning that you don't have to blow air into them to get them to inflate. Get to camp, unpack them, open the valve, and they'll fill up with air by themselves. The pads feature a nice durable fabric on the outside, so they're gonna protect you from popping in the middle of the night on sharp rocks or other things. The Women's Pad is a little bit shorter, but it's also a little bit thicker which is gonna provide a little more warmth. It's an inch and a quarter thick. The men's is one inch thick. The men's is actually a little bit lighter at one pounds, five ounces, and the women's is one pound, seven ounces. These pads are both made in the United States and feature uh, an additional stuff sack, actually, that's included. Thank you for considering the EMS Siesta sleeping pad. I'm sure you'll enjoy many a starry night on top of them.